for those new to the inquiry, um, they may rapidly find the issues that we're going to discuss in a moment rather dry. Intensely technical, often bland, but entirely significant for uncovering the truth in the post office inquiry. The um, disclosure of documents is um, the lifeblood of the inquiry. Lawyer for the post office, Chris Jackson, admitted providing important documents hasn't been good enough and apologised for delays. This information, this run of correspondence, um, is rather chaotic. I think you used the phrase before um, the lunch break, suboptimal, and it is clearly that. Uh, and it must be frustrating for, deeply for the inquiry and for uh, witnesses, and I suspect also for those at the other end who are, are trying their best to get it right. Hundreds of sub-postmasters were wrongly convicted after faulty computer software made it look like money had gone missing. One of them, Janet Skinner, says she's sceptical about post office disclosure. I think obviously evidence now that's coming for, that's having to come forward and having to produce, they have, they have no choice now. There's probably more to come out than there already has been. Meanwhile, former Postal Affairs Minister, now Liberal Democrat leader Ed Davey, has refused to apologise to victims, instead insisting he'd been lied to. The post office were lying to the sub-postmasters, lying to the victims, lying to courts and judges, lying to ministers of all parties over two decades, and of course lying to the British public. And um, it was a conspiracy of lies. In response, the post office say they're doing all they can to provide redress, including assisting proceedings. Lost emails, last minute disclosures, alleged deletion of documents going back years, a series of apparent failings by the post office in providing evidence to the inquiry, leading to accusations it's tried to frustrate or slow down the process here. But legal commentator Graham Zellick says the task of sifting through evidence is mammoth. I don't underestimate the nature of the um, task that the post office is having to do. Clearly, they haven't done it as well as they should have done. It is fairly clear that they are now doing everything they can. Next week, more scrutiny and many more days of the inquiry to come, as victims insist the truth has already taken too long. Adele Robinson, Sky News.